Hi, my name is Long Thinh Le. I'm currently working on a project at the UTS. This project is from Robotics Studio 2 subject. And the objective is to capture the image of the person from the webcam, tracing the outline of that person to get the SVG file and convert the SVG to the G-code file for the robot to move. So basically, the robot will draw your face. And my responsibility in this subject is to implement the Python code which can convert the G-code file to 3D space coordinates Coordinates and solve the inverse kinematics for the robot. So this is the mounting for the pens. We are gonna use different pens for different colors and I will implement the tool changing function. The purpose of this is whenever the robot finishes the portrait drawing, it will change to the second pen and draw the outer frame. Finally, it changed to the third pen and draw the signature of our group, which is G23. By the way, we are using the robot arm UR3E to perform this task. Whenever I want to change the pose of the robot, I need to push the button to release the motors. Now I'm installing the spring for this mounting pan. This is kind of a suspension for the system to reduce the pressure on the tip of the pan while the robot is drawing. Then I install the pan with this housing. This part includes the M3 nut inside so that it can keep the pan fixed After installing all the pens, it should work like this. Now I hold the release motor button to raise the robot arm up. After that, I need to change the paper. That is the previous result and it didn't work well. For this ISO, it has legs so that it can be fit into these roofs. Okay, the hardware setup is done. Now we are moving to the code. First, we need to run the ROS core, then ROS run the package, which name is Selfie Drawing UR3. And this is our GUI for the project we've built from Kinter in Python. In this type, it has the live camera to show the recording image. It also has the countdown timer for the taking picture. If we satisfy with the capture image, we just process the image to get the SVG outline. Yep, the result is pretty nice. After we click confirm, the outlined SVG will be converted to the G-code file. Then we move to the draw tab, click connect to the robot with this IP address. When the robot is connected, we we just launch the move it planning and now we can initialize the robot UR3 to get all the information of the robot now we can control the robot with all the buttons inside the GUI by the way after you run the UR robot driver on laptop you need to run the same driver on the robot 
Let's start with homing button. Yes, the robot can be controlled properly. After homing the robot, we need to set the origin so that the image will be offset to the current position. And for the demonstration purpose, I will draw the triangle file which represents for the SVG file. And now we're good to go. Let's start drawing. Also, I need to hold the panel to prepare the emergency stop, just in case the robot moves wrong. Yay, it did it! Besides the drawing function, I also implement the chalking function for the robot. It can move up, down, right, left, forward, and backward. The purpose for this function is that the user can adjust the center position to set the home joint angles. Also, it can change the pen so that the user can choose to draw in any colors. That's it the end of my project. Thank you for watching.